you have to embrace it rather than try to, I don't try to go over the sound of it. I'm hoping that it's covering the first eight rows in front of him. Uh, and so, and you know, I'll go up, he'll be playing a, his acoustic guitar and there'll be a 315, which is his guitar's problem, not the bow's problem. And so I'll go on stage, re-EQ his guitar, and it's fine with him, and now it's matching the same sound that I'm putting in through the big PA. And so it's, it's covering an area that isn't covered by a lot of line arrays and a lot of PA systems. So you're doing sound reinforcement, you're not mixing a record. And so I start with it, with the PA off. You know, finally, once I got it, everything to actually be something I could grab and make louder or not, is that you start with it off and figure out what's needed rather than this is the way it's, you know, this is the way I would mix it if I was in my room by myself. All, all of his guitars have internal mics on them, so you can get the pick, string, and finger sound on it. And just a little of that goes a long way just to clarify what's coming off the stage. And in some theaters, I don't have any guitar in the house except for the small mic inside. And everyone loves the sound of the guitar. You, it, you work with it differently because it's, it's coming off, but the thing is it's coming off sounding like you want it to sound. And that's, uh, that's a lot better than you know, so, you know, your average bass player who's standing two feet in front of his speaker, which you can't, it doesn't focus till it's out 15 feet from him. And so they're all, it's always too loud.